Okay, welcome to day five of the Be the Exception Challenge, our last and final day to orient ourselves to where we are and to make sure that we've accumulated all the treasure along the way, let's look back. On day one, we reclaimed our life. We took back control of our reins. We set you free. We re reestablished that your life is your life. It's your own damn fault, good or bad, which gives you 100% control. Thus responsibility over every single area and circumstance of your life. This liberates you fully and gives you the ultimate personal power to direct your destiny. On day two, we put a lid on your punch bowl. We are no longer allowing people to pee in our mind, corrupting it with people gossip, sensationalized problems of the world, and political gobbledygook. Day three, you were given the greatest tip on how to become one of the rich and famous. No matter where you start, how bad or bland your life or results are now, this is a sure bet. Your royal flush, your super trifecta, your jackpot winning move, and I hope you've started to make it. On day four, we gave you a whole new perspective on who you are and what you are capable of. Not from a 10X perspective, that would still be just scratching the surface, but from the perspective of the alpha and the omega and getting you to start swinging in that direction. And here day five, we need to fortify you with what you need to go forth and prosper. Understand this, transformation, realizing your potential and becoming successful is not an event. It is a journey, a year over year, month over month, week over week, day over day, moment over moment, never ending and always evolving, twisting and turning journey, an epic heroic journey. And the most important influence on that ongoing trek will be who you journey with, who you choose to walk with you on this heroic journey. And depending on who they are, they will either speed you up or slow you down. They will either help you find the best routes or they will help you get lost. They will determine the health along your journey as well because you will eat the snacks and drinks that they have brought. They will also determine the joy, fun, and laughter that you will experience along the way. They will either add stress, anguish, and drama along the trek, or they will make it fun and joyful. They will be the greatest determinant to whether you even arrive at your intended destination or not. Write this down. Who you travel with determines your destination and whether you ever even arrive or not. If you question that, just ask the Donner Party. Jim Rohn taught that we are the combined average of the five people we hang around the most. As Jim said, you must constantly ask yourself these questions. Who am I around? What are they doing to me? What have they got me reading? What have they got me saying? Where do they have me going? What do they have me thinking? And most importantly, what do they have me becoming? Then ask yourself the big question, is that okay? If you're not okay with the answers, then it's time to trim down your travel group the ones who are slowing you down and costing you joy. Then you've got to replace them with experienced travelers and speedier trekkers. You see, as human beings, we raise or lower our performance to match the expectations and, per and the performance level of our reference group. This is why the successful seek out environments and groups where other successful people collect. They know that the reference group unconsciously raises their respective game. If you want to take your life to the next level, too, you will need to access a high performing reference group to associate with. Here is your final challenge. Get a picture of who you want to be in three years time. Envision the health, the business, the financial success, the success in your marriage as a parent, as a community leader. Now look at your current associations. Do they match that vision? Are they now where you want to be three years from now? Are they even going to, are they even going where it is that you're going? Are they an engine that will drive you there or an anchor that will hold you back as an influence in your trek to getting there? It's time to start making some hard choices. You'll have to vote some of them off your island. Please don't take this advice lightly and then decide who you need to meet and who you need to associate with to get to you to where you wanna go. As Mark Twain said, keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great make you feel that way too. They make you feel that you can become great as well. So that's it. Your five day challenge to be the exception has been laid out before you. What is the one thing you learned that you will act on today? Share your thoughts and action in the comments below. And I look forward to reading them.